Hello, and welcome back to another AI tutorial on code entropy. In today's video, we'll be creating an interactive plot from a simple matplotlib. I've opened up an interactive Python notebook on Visual Studio Code, and I suggest that you do the same to follow along. Let's begin by initializing our data. For today's tutorial, I'll be looking at a comparison between the year and average annual gas price in the United States. Take this time to store your data in arrays, which I will do now. To understand what the data looks like, I'll print it before going ahead. Now, if we run our code, we can see that the values stored in X are the years recorded from 1990 to 2022, and the Y values are the average gas price in USD for that year. Let's create a new code block. The first thing that we want to do is import the necessary library as matplotlib.pyplot as plt. We can plot the X and Y data that we previously initialized using plt.plot x comma y. We want to set the x and y label of our graph as well as the title, which can be done by plt.x label, which we can set to year. And we'll do the same for the y label, but instead of year, let's do USD per gallon of regular gasoline. We can also set the title of our graph by doing plt.title and the same thing but we'll set the title to prices, gas prices in the US from 1990 to 2022. Finally, let's show the plot using plt.show. There we go. We were able to create a clear graph from our data, but there are still a few major issues. First, we can't zoom in and out of our graph, which is a useful tool when the graph displays a large amount of data. The second issue is that it's difficult to see each specific point and the gas price for that year. Luckily, we can resolve these problems using the Plotly library. Now I'll create a new code block and import Plotly using import plotly.graph objects as go. You may need to use the pip command to download Plotly, but since I've done this before, I can simply import it. Let's create a basic graph first, then work on the formatting. So I can simply just write graph equals go.figure. And inside this, we want the data to be go.scatter, x equals x, y equals y. And we can set the mode to markers plus lines so that we can clearly see each individual point and hover over it. Now, if I run the command graph.show, we're able to see the interactive plot. If you made it this far in the video, please go ahead and like and subscribe, but keep watching because there are still a few features that we need to add. So right now, if I hover over each of the points, we're able to see the year and gas price. But now let's work on adding the axes titles and the title for the entire graph. We can do this by adding in a graph.update layout in our code. And in the parentheses, Let's also write title equals, and then we'll write some curly braces, write x axis equals some parentheses, and then y axis equals parentheses. Inside of the brackets for the title, let's update the text, center align it, and edit the font. Let's also update the title and intervals for the x and y axes. Now when we run this, our graph has a title and labels on its axes. We can also add some more finishing touches by updating the text when we hover over each point to make it more clear. Right now, all we have is the year and gas price in parentheses, 
but instead we can make this more clear by having actual text that says what the year is and what the gas price is for that year. I'm going to go back into the code and create a variable over here called hover text that shows the year and price for each XY pair through the following code. Where we initialize the graph, we can also add in over here hover text equals our new variable that we just created, hover underscore text. Just for some more formatting, let's also set the color to red and increase the width using the following command. Let's run this and see our final graph. Compared to our graph from before, we now have a lot more features. First of all, we can hover over each point and see the coordinates, year, and gas price for that year. For example, over here, we're able to see that the year was 2011 and the average gas price was $3.52. There's a lot more features that we can do as well. For example, in the top right, we can zoom using this command and we can also reset our axes using the home button over here. We're also able to pan our graph if we wanted to. And resetting this, we're also able to download it as a PNG. If you enjoyed this tutorial or it helped you out, check out my other videos in this series and stay tuned for more to come. This was Code Entropy. Mm -hmm.